Papa so baby baby. We already have eggs. This time we're gonna use. She doesn't watch my content. Our mini DIY pawn. Is this deja vu? It's working. My wife has no idea. See all this slack right here? Perfect. Eight feet. Once this water starts to fill up, new mini pond. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything in the aquarium hobby. It's super windy today. I'm going to be talking really loud into the mic, so hopefully it doesn't get all like squirrely on you, all right? Yeah, I think it's going to be better over here. I'm actually where the shed is, so maybe it'll cut off some of that wind. But behind me, 8,500 gallon koi pond, Tiki Falls, and in front of me, is the new mini pond that's hidden in the far back of the house. Now, the reason why I'm whispering is because my wife has no idea. I want a divorce. 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 You're probably saying to yourself, well, she's probably gonna see this video. I'm just letting you guys know that she doesn't watch my content. She doesn't watch my videos. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why she doesn't. So I can actually leave videos like this. I created a little mini DIY pond, super cheap, super easy to make in my last video. I'll leave a card up above. Click that card, go check out how I built this little mini DIY, super cheap pond. And it's in the far back corner behind my shed. And there's no way she's ever gonna see it because she never walks back there. Um, but we get to fill it up with water. We're gonna put a water feature connected to it. Big shout out to Papa Soap. I'm gonna show you guys a product that they sent me and I can't wait to use it. I'm super excited. And it's gonna be powered by the sun. Hold up. What? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Why you always lying? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, the sun. Now I know I did a video on a Papa Soap product that was a solar powered fountain, but this one here is going to be a game changer. We're not using a fountain, we're using a water feature. And I'm so excited to show you guys how I'm going to create this filter. So let's show you what the pond is looking like. Oh, I'm just walking by my Madaka. And you guys remember when I made these little breeding mops? If you guys didn't see the video, I'll put a card up above. Click that card up there in the right hand corner, right? You guys will see how I made these breeding mops. And this was probably just like, I don't know, a week ago. And look at, we already have eggs. Look at all the Madaka eggs. Look at them all, this thing. I just literally put this in. Look at all the eggs. I'm gonna actually put this in the other little mini pond bowl that I have with the aeration. This is my other one here. These are all tricolors though. Look how beautiful. Yeah, like I said, it's windy here. Things are blowing around out here. But let me show you guys the pond. All right, so here is our mini DIY pond in the far back corner of the house. As you can see, look at shed, it's blocked, it's shield. <laughs> She'll never know unless I say something or unless I say, hey, babe, go give me a two by four. She'll come out here and she'll see it. Other than that, she won't see it. OK, now I was uh, guesstimating that it's going to be between, I think I said in the last video, 60 to 80 gallons, somewhere in that range. Um, if you guys ever want to know how many gallons an aquarium is or something that's square, it's easy to do it square, is you take the length and you times that by the width. And then you take that and you times that total by the height. So in this instance here, we have 41 inches times, I think it's 31 inches. I can't remember what it was exactly, but I'm gonna show a calculator uh, right there, okay? Of what I have, okay? So we went length, then we times the width, we take that total and we times the height, and then we divide that by 231, 231. There's your total, look at that, 80, what is it? 82 gallons, but that's up to the very top. Probably not gonna fill it up to the top. It'll probably be 80 gallons. So we just made an 80 gallon mini DIY pond. So let's go ahead and fill this bad boy up with water. Once this water starts to fill up, I can start to uh, kind of shape the pond liner. See all this slack right here? This water pressure will be pushing up against this wall. So everything will be, I don't know, pretty flush, I would say. So while this is filling up, Let's head over and talk about something that Papa Soap sent me, all right? Let's go. 
Okay, so this is my little setup I have over here. Uh, we have our eggs on the breeding mops. We're gonna set it right here in this bowl along with the other breeding mops that I have with eggs. And we also have an aerator. This is a portable aerator. It's a chargeable aerator. If, I, uh, if the power ever goes out, this will stay on for about 24 hours. So as you can see, I have an outlet here, which is plugged in, providing aeration, which is perfect for breeding mops and fry to hatch. I'm actually pretty good at this too. <laughs> I'm actually pretty good. I had a huge offspring last season with uh, tricolor Madaka. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully you got my fingers crossed. I just probably jinxed myself. Uh, I'll show you guys some beautiful Madaka, better known as Japanese rice fish. All right, my ohana, you might be saying to yourself, is this deja vu? Didn't I see you do a video on Papa Soap? Papa Soap is a company that specializes in taking power from the sun and transferring it into water features and ponds. Forever homes for every creature. Boom, we're popping it open. Check it out, check it out. Oh, we got everything we need in here. We have our tubing, which this time we're gonna use. In the video I did, uh, we didn't use this tubing, but this time we're gonna use the tubing. Check it out, check it out. Oh, we got everything we need in here. We have our tubing, which this time we're gonna use. In the video I did, uh, we didn't use this tubing, but this time we're gonna use the tubing. If you wanna see the video where I actually use all the fountain features, go ahead I'm gonna leave a card up above click that card okay you guys can check out the Papa soap um, solar water fountain this is my favorite fountain head look at that look how clean that is that's full blast too so it's not gonna overflow or spill outside of the bowl as you can see it's not messy a nice clear bubble look at the fish in the background so cool though right this one is different though you know what's different? This piece right here, this is a backup battery. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take energy and power from the sun through our solar panel, which is right here, and we're gonna be able to operate the water feature. Let me open this right here. Ooh, look at, look at, look at. Oh, this is our solar panel. We're gonna be able to operate our water feature at night because of the backup battery a lot of you guys when i did a video on papa soap product you guys were like saying hey is there a battery backup because the one that i showed you guys was just strictly when the sun is out it's gonna work when the sun sets nada you got nothing so this is our pump the pump is super cool the reason why it's super cool is because it comes with these pre-filters so it comes with extra filtration these are little sponges that actually fit right inside this little compartment here take this little part off you can see the sponge so the pump is going to be pumping water through the sponge so this is a water flow adjustment which is really easy so we're going to go ahead and pop this back on it just snaps on i'm doing this all with one hand that's how easy it is connect our hose here we're not going to use uh the stake we used the stake the last time we're definitely going to use this mounting brace though and i have a great idea and i got to show you what we're going to hook up to make this mini pond look fabulous all right you can see we have our water filled up pretty much to the brim i love the way it looks uh, of course we are going to add our microblith pond pl natural beneficial bacteria and we're also going to add microblith pond aqua extreme to get rid of all the chlorine chloramines and heavy metals that are in my water uh the cool thing is is right now it's got a nice little shady spot got my neighbor's bush right here that's giving it a lot of shade but during the day it will hit some sun so to eliminate some of the algae i'm going to probably get a cover maybe some type of cover just to give it some shade um but what i want to show you is the water feature boom we're going to use this bamboo water feature this thing came with a hose and i got to show you the hose it actually works perfect with this papa sun solar uh kit so let's go ahead and hook this okay up. so basically this bamboo piece came with a hose now the hose uh was a different size this is the hose that the bamboo uh water feature came with and it actually fit right inside the papa sun um hose so it's a nice tight fit you can't even pull it off this is going to be in the water anyways and then you take this end here and you hook it up to the bottom right there 
and then we're gonna actually have this sitting on the lip or the coping of the pond and we will have our pump sitting in the pond pumping the water up through the water feature it's gonna make it look really cool and then we'll put our solar panel this is what I'm thinking right up here on that top beam right there would be perfect look at the suns right there hey mr sun boom it's gonna get all the sun there soak it up we'll be able to run it i think i'm gonna put it right there yeah i think that's what we're gonna do so let me go ahead and put this all together and then i'll show you what it looks like all right, all right so we have our pump we have our hose we attached our hose to the bottom of the water feature there really easy to do our pump is going to be sitting right there in the corner i'm going to have this resting down there lots of tube but not only that though lots of wire so this thing can go all the way up there if we need it to let me go ahead and take this and we are going to set this like i was saying right over here like right here at the edge here yeah i think i kind of like it right there oh that's pretty cool right there i think i like it right there now i brought these rocks just to stabilize it so this can't move just to say is a big gust of wind i have two rocks here um, i'll put another one on that side it'll hold it down or hold it in place and then we're going to run our pump down here at the bottom we'll cut some of the tubing they give you more than enough tubing so everything will fit perfect i'm loving the way this looks i can't wait to get this thing started. all right so we got our fixture fixed there we got a lot of hose so i'm going to cut the hose i think right about here should be good we want it a little bit longer than shorter because we can always cut it shorter i'm just kind of eyeballing it so i'm going to go ahead and make a cut right here all right so we made our cut on our hose now we're going to go ahead and attach the hose to the pump here but look at all the extra hose that we have got a bunch of hose baby <laughs> bunch of hose so let's go ahead and hook this on and then stick this down inside the pond look at this i'm doing this with one hand too look at that wow wow i did this with one hand look at that Papa soap making it easy for the content creators out there look at it's got a little suction cup so we can suction it to the bottom in the corner there make it nice and neat all right so we got our water feature set up you can see the pump down there in the corner very nicely hidden uh, you can't even really see the clear hose that's going into the bamboo but I also ran the wire you can see it right there well we got plenty of it and it is right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this side this is our battery backup for our solar panel and we are gonna plug it in to this side all right let's see if I can do this with one hand popa soap oh yeah oh my gosh look it wait a minute it's working. I don't even have the solar panel up. Oh, you know what? This probably has some battery charge in it. Maybe that's what it is. It comes charged. Whoa, that is wild. Check it out, though. Dude, that got me off guard, guys. I'm not even going to lie. That scared me. But look at the flow. And I got to put that seal on. Screw that seal on. Um, this side actually is going to be attached to our solar panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this and the solar panel up here to this beam all right so we have our mount this is the piece that we're going to mount to the wood up on the framing there it also comes with screws all right papa soap did not forget about you guys so we're going to use these screws i don't need it even comes with anchors too we don't need the anchors so we're going to throw the anchors over here but we're definitely going to use these screws to screw them into the wood all right my ohana so we have our bracket right here mounted to the top like I said we were going to do now I'm just gonna go ahead and get the uh, solar panel and slide it on the uh, bracket there make sure it's lined up slide that bad boy right on the little frame until it clicks yeah there, there we go now it's right on look at that perfect sun's right there the sun actually goes from this side and goes over so this is going to get a lot of sun i think it's uh angled right you can always adjust the angle too so you can tilt it uh forward or back we got our cable here and we're going to go ahead and grab our backup battery and just mount it right underneath this yeah, that should be cool and then you can see how far it is look at <laughs> way down there it's about a good i don't know maybe eight feet from the ground so we had a lot of cable to work with like I said but let me go ahead and grab that backup battery and put it up here I'm not worried about that right now all I know is that's working with no electricity and no solar panel hooked up to it yet all right so we have the backup battery here I was just reading the instructions it says not to get this wet so I'm gonna have to get some type of 
waterproof casing. So that's one thing you have to do is make sure that this is not going to get wet when you have it outside. So being that I have this so high up here, uh, I'm just gonna put it underneath it for now, but I like where this is because it's way out of sight. I do apologize about the wind. If it's really windy, I'm talking into the mic as loud as I can. So hopefully you guys can hear me pretty good. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug this in and uh, we should be good to go with the battery backup going. And there you go, we got it all hooked up. I got the uh, backup battery kind of mounted there for now until I can get a cover. I, I gotta look for something, but we got our cable. I think I'm gonna run it down the wood so it's not just hanging here in the open. I don't like the way that looks because um, we have so much cable. May as well do it, right? All right, my Ohana, so you can see we have our cable management. It's running down this beam here. I got these little like hooks that I just kind of screwed into the wood, running it right down this beam here. So that way it is hidden and it just comes across the fence here. And of course we go right back down around and it's hooked to our little water feature. Now something's missing here. I need to add something like right over here in this little area. There we go, that's more like it. Add some canna, some plants to this bad boy. I think I wanna put some, maybe some water lettuce or some water hyacinth, some floating plants to just give it that extra oomph. I mean, look at the water feature operated by, what can I say, Popo So Baby Baby. They did it again with their solar powered with the battery backup, okay? Don't worry, my Ohana, all of their links will be down in the description below. Go check them out. Now, what I need from you guys is what can we stock this with? Maybe a Japanese rice fish madaka pawn just for strictly madaka. Speaking of madaka, why don't we add some madaka to this? Yeah, why not scoop up some madaka? Come here, madaka. I'm gonna use my madaka net made by my boy Jackson, the madaka layer. Let's get some cool ones here. Yeah, we'll just get like, I don't know, just a couple. We did add, oh, these are nice right here. What about these four, huh? Oh, those are bangers. Don't jump out, don't jump out, don't jump out, don't jump out, don't jump out. There you go. Woo. Oh no, Madaka, we need to save you. Oh no, come on, baby. Oh no. Oh, there we go, we saved you. Oh, I gotcha. No worries. So we just added tricolor Madaka. Oh my gosh, this is like a mansion for them. Look at them. They're hanging out right there. Look at them. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Yeah, I wish a mosquito would land on the surface of this pond. These guys will take care of it. Let me back up and you guys tell me what you think down in the comments. Papa so baby baby, they did it again. So essentially we built a mini DIY 80 gallon pond in the backyard that cost me pretty much nothing because I had all the materials. Showed you guys how to do that. And then second, we hooked it up with uh, some bells and whistles from Papa Soap, uh, the solar panel backup battery, which runs five to six hours once the sun sets. I think it's ideal for like smaller fish, like maybe uh, white cloud minnows. Maybe we get some albino white cloud minnows. Um, or maybe we just do assortment of different species of Madaka Japanese rice fish and make it, uh, I don't know, the Madaka pond. Ooh, the Madaka pond. Throw some floating plants like uh, water lettuce and water hyacinth. That would be really cool. Maybe we throw uh, a little, you know, pond lily in there too as well. Like I said, sky's the limit. I love that bamboo uh, water feature. It just gives it that nice little like, I don't know, sweetness to it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, all of Papa Soap's links will be down in the description below. Go check them out. All right, my Ohana, I have no problems with any of the products that I have. And right now we're batting a thousand. Yeah, excellent. I appreciate you guys for all the love and support and I'll see you guys in that next video. Take care, much love and aloha. I know, fake a pay, I want you hooky, I'll let you money, I can't.